Saturday night down at camp. Let's have a look at 20 meters. Sound like it. PSK or something. Like that. that sounds like RTT. Right? Yeah, that sounds like RTT. Oh, sir, now you stop. IZ zero RBI.
Works pretty good. IG0, RVI, call and see to you. That's pretty neat. It doesn't near it doesn't work nearly as good in the noisy environment. Um, a whole lot more noise. Yeah, still calling. into an exciter 180 degrees actually back into the driver of something but since there's no exciter attached into that since it's not like a transmitter like a class c uh am uh, transmitter which i i had the option of doing uh but it added a tremendous more cost and i figured i didn't need that because i already could do a anyway i'm not going to go into that uh but the bottom line is um yeah I, I just decided to stick to a linear, a linear amplifier, not uh, not a linear combo AM transmitter. I wanted to do AM linear modulation, and I figured it was much, much better and much more efficient to handle it that way in terms of electromechanical considerations, not energy considerations. It's the most inefficient mode to do it that way. Uh, but uh, yeah, I had him uh, add uh, RF neutralization. Uh, which is going to help the IMD, but um, uh, yeah, apparently that's a little bit of a distinction between RF negative feedback. Um, but yeah, there's a circuit being employed where uh, I guess uh, per band uh, there will be some sort of uh, neutralization uh, being employed. So um, that, that's all I can tell you. And then the, the other interesting thing in the amp and tuner, uh, one of the real nice features is that the band switching is being done by high voltage vacuum relays. Uh, so uh, it's, you're not going to have a big mechanical switch with a thousand wires going to it. You're just going to have a simple switch uh, that's controlling uh, the tank by tapping the relays. And uh, that way uh, it's a much cleaner, cleaner setup. Uh, the straight capacitance on 10 meters will not be an issue. Uh, and uh, just a cleaner uh, way to go. Uh, that adds several thousands of dollars to the installation, and that's why commercial amplifiers don't do it. But that's the real way to build an amplifier is to use the high-voltage vacuum relays instead of uh, clunky band switches. Um, I don't know. Everything else is probably pretty standard. Uh, you know, what you see is what you get there. But... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure about the power supply regulation on bleeder resistors and how much power that's going to be dissipating. Hopefully not a lot. I don't want just excessive power bills if the amplifier is on by creating it a heater effect, you know. But, um, yeah, so the idea is uh, it will be done in September. However, the delivery was extremely expensive, so I have to wait for him to tune up another AM transmitter in Nebraska and then he's going to split the cost between the Nebraska trip and here. And then, so that's going to push it out till September. Did you actually give him some circuit design? No, it's exactly. Uh, option number one, no, I, I don't do any of this. So I don't know anything about amplifiers. I don't know anything about tuners or anything like that. Um, I, 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 I don't know that the, 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 this guy's the pro. So, I, you know, you... You basically come up with a conceptual idea, you talk about the specs, you come to a consensus, and you just let him incorporate all the all the nonsense inside of it. And, you know, of course, then you write the check, and then, so there you go. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I definitely take absolutely zero uh, credit for uh, the actual uh, con uh, construction. Uh, there's no way 
first of all, I started this in December. So this isn't some garage shop, you know, pump out an amplifier in a month bullshit. This thing, this guy is like the top of the line guy in the country. And uh, uh, he, he's, uh, he, you know, he's well known, but uh, uh, in some circles anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's great, man. He, uh, he really, uh, really is an expert. Uh, but uh, yeah, I know nothing, as the German would say. So um, yeah, that, that all the tech behind it is beyond me. I know how to talk about the basics, but uh, the, 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 yeah, other than that, I don't know anything about it. Over. <laughs> yeah, you probably know more than you, you give yourself credit for. But, uh, yeah, I wonder if I know the guy. Um, uh, he hired some, uh, some Fox. Uh, I did a thing at ABC, but I didn't know any of the chiefs. And, uh, I did 17 years as uh, director of satellite engineering for the Fox television network, and then we had a a real close relations, working relationship with uh, about 220 uh, chief engineers and their system engineers and some of their staff. And of course, a lot of them were hands. Um, actually, now I think about it, I don't know, was that Utah? Well, it may have been Utah. Yeah, there was one guy that I, uh, I knew. I think he was from Utah. It sounds like you're, you're keeping his... Uh, there, so I, I won't pry about that. But it's possible that I know the guy. Um, that was a lot of fun. 17 years dealing with the, all that stuff. But it's time for uh, catching up. You know, I mean, I was on call 24 7. Cracklings, the fire just starting to go up here. Crackling's here and pretty long hours. Um, Bought a, bought a house, uh, we built a house upstate New York and for several years. I spent a lot of weekends going back and forth. Now I don't get up there too often, but, you know, my main QTH set up uh, my second seat. Not only, uh, okay, let's keep inside, moving. But uh, the landscaping, so I'm catching up. And uh, the station's getting some attention too. That's, that's right uh, on. This, Roger, Roger, did you copper? Kilo Echo Zero Alpha Hotel Mike, copy. Maybe you can try it again. Roger, Roger, it's Kilo Echo Zero America, Honolulu, Mexico, copy. Kilo Echo Zero Alpha Hotel Mike, Roger, Roger, that's correct. The uh, name here is Bob. I'm about 100 miles south of Denver, Colorado, in Pueblo. Copy. Hey, uh, thank you from Colorado. You're in your game, you're 
I really do. I only need two days while I'm here because I, I really need to gut this place out. This is only a temporary shot for me at the time being. You know, it's just, uh, I think it's just be sort of through into the corner until we get to the house in such a manner that it's that's it. Everything will be uh, it's sort of dedicated spot. And I mean, and, and that I mean me. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to get a wee place in the centre of the, the house. Hopefully, uh, not you know, not disturb, disturb them today. Say, where I am just now, it's okay. I'm well out of the way. And uh, she doesn't have any. The only problem she gets is, is me getting up out of bed. And um, that's her only issue. Um, especially if it's early in the morning. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, I had a wee look at that clip myself, and, you know, I, 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 as you do, um, I just find the way I sound, I don't know uh, what people have thought are over the, over the year, but uh, I've had a couple of recordings, and uh, the audio sounds, uh, obviously, punchy and stuff like that, but, uh, um, I, I think in, in general, I'm, yeah, you know, it's a, I don't have one of those big deep voices that you, that you can hear, but uh, I, I do sound totally different, I would agree with that. <laughs> oh well, that's, uh, I mean, you don't, you don't sound like what I would picture you, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, you try and put a face to the voice, and unless you've seen a picture, it's, it's impossible. And you try and imagine what it is like. I mean, Ian, 3MO, Ian doesn't look anything the way he sounds. Uh, neither does Duncan. Uh, yes, I'm going. Duncan's actually a big tall guy. Uh, I don't even know how he's Duncan is six foot plus. It's quite Good morning, good morning. Thank you for the report. Your signal report, 5 and 8, 58. My name Matt, Mike Alpha Tango Tango, my QTH Texas, Marco. Okay, very nice to meet you. First time here on 20 meters. So thank you for calling me, and I wish you 73. Many, many good DX, Marco. So now, microphone to you, IS0XGO. Over, over. Really a copy there. Thank you. 
for returning my call. You were also 20 to 30 dB over. Very strong signal tonight in Southern California. Go ahead. Excellent. Uh, California. Thank you for the 20, 30 over 90. You're doing the same good job here. Uh, please tell me what, uh, your name, Oscar. Uh, the name here is Tom. Tango Oscar Michael. Yes, got it. Thank you, Tom. Uh, thank you for stopping by to say hello uh, here on 20 meters. Excellent again. Uh, the, the propagation is, is great. The gorgeous propagation, uh, Tom. 73 and enjoy the DX, my friend. Probably a 60 or 8. He has 3 AKP. We uh, thank you very much, uh, Tom. Who's the station ending in Mexico? Over. ADC to Juliet Mike, thank you very much uh, for your call. You'll find the 9 plus, uh, 5 dB over S9. I'm John, my GPH Catalonia, which is the northeastern province of Spain. ADC to Juliet Mike, Echo Alpha 3, Alpha Kilo Top. Yeah, I'm a long time. Sorry.
Zulu on November Echo Papa, WC6H. You're not uh, qu quite as loud as Matia. He's booming through a little bit louder. He's about five over. You're about S8, about S8. And my call is Whiskey Charlie 6 Honolulu Hotel, last letter. So that is our uh, working conditions here. And, uh, the least is getting the job done tonight. The band, band seems to be in good shape. Over. Yankee, Yankee. 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 Good morning, Eddie. Oh, 
Some weird stuff there. What's up? Fan may be starting to go.
too much static. He's still talking. Uh, three, three mornings in a row, I had to wait till almost uh, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning to see the sun. And uh, the humidity when the fog was in was at 40%, which is so high compared to what we usually have. But uh, today is getting better, and the daytime temperatures are beautiful, only about 22, 23 degrees C, with the beautiful sunshine every day, so I can't complain. Okay, my friends, a wonderful listen. Both of you enjoy the uh, air show. Uh, that ought to be uh, pretty good, and uh, uh, whatever that comes out of it, uh, I hope it's good for everybody. OH1NX with uh, OH1TX, W6CCP. Okay, very good to see you, Mara. Good morning, Yaska. It's uh, good to hear you this morning as well. It took a while for you to, to find the frequency, but it's... It's all right now. Yeah, the, the friend you met, uh, Simo, the friend you met in Visalia, that was Yuka, OH2, Bravo Radio, with his wife, Bravo, Bravo, uh, Bravo uh, Germany. OH2BC is residing uh, still here, and he's not not uh, traveling uh, traveling at this, uh, this point. It was Yuka, Bravo Radio, but uh, I'm sure that it was a, it was a nice meeting. Nice meeting there. I have a uh, I have a family in the house. I have my daughter and uh, two grandkids in the house, and uh, they are just waking up. So I need to go for for 
cooking some breakfast with them, and uh, we enjoy the, the morning hours before going going to the air show. So I say 73, and thanks very much, Simo, for uh, for a nice contact after a long, a long, uh, a long time of silence. And, uh, Hope to see you soon again one of these mornings. I, I'll be active every, every morning here. I'm getting this old that I'm not sleeping in the morning anymore, so I, I wake up before 7, before 7 in the morning, even though yesterday I had a, I had a fairly, fairly hard drive. It was like, uh, like 120 miles one way, and I took that in... I stayed there for six hours. No, I stayed there for four hours in the meeting, and then I drove back back home. So 73 Seymour, Yako will see you in a couple of hours. I give you a call before 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 too long, and uh, we will see what happens. Uh, w6 CCP Seymour, thanks a lot. Have a nice evening and uh, good night. Uh, OH1 Nancy X-ray. Bye bye. Oh, wonderful. OH1 Nancy X-ray with OH1 TXW6 CCP. Wonderful. Well, Thank you. 